I'm here. What do you want? Brad, would you agree that you owe me one for the egregious way you handled the Holly Raines interview? Alan, her attitude was... The important thing is I agree that you owe me one. Just follow my lead. Okay. Mr. Bodnar, we're going to lose this case. Yes, you are. And I don't know what to do about it. We could get through the appeals process, but so many of our fine judges are not into the First Amendment these days. And if by some miracle we make it to the Supreme Court, well, they're not that tickled to the First Amendment either. So, as you can see, I am in a pickle. You didn't need to come down here to explain that to me. No, I know. But I did need to explain this. It's Brad here. What about Brad here? He's decided he's going to run against you for district attorney. Really? Yes. I mean, I think he's a natural for politics, don't you? Look at him. Gorgeous. And tough on crime, the man single-handedly rescued a kidnapped child. The Republican Party is bound to love him because he's so demonstrably pro-torture. A man who's not afraid to get his hands dirty while he cuts off the fingers of others. Oh, you're a Republican, aren't you, Scott? Mr. Shore... I wonder uh, who your party rather have carrying its standard. You or Captain Handsome? Brad, stand up and take your jacket off. Yeah. Ooh. Now pop it over their shoulder. Wow. I think this job is about more than looks. Well, you'd have to think that, wouldn't you? I notice the polls don't have you doing too well with women voters. You are aware my client runs a shelter for battered women. You think persecuting her will play well with the distaff side? Are you trying to threaten me? Not me. It's my friend here. This case has him so incensed, doesn't it, Brad? Yes. It's inspired him to pluck his hat from those beautiful blonde locks and toss it into the ring. I can just see the two of you in a televised debate. Well, really, I can only see him because you seem to fade into the background. Tell me, Brad, how many of your clients are millionaires? All of them. Rich coffers to draw from. It would be much nicer, wouldn't it, Mr. Bodnar, to run unopposed? Well, you've both made some extremely valid points, and I think Goldilocks here would be a formidable opponent. I look forward to the campaign. And Mr. Shore, I look forward to seeing you in court. Brad, you know you don't actually have to run. On the other hand, you have made a powerful enemy, and I think you've learned a valuable lesson about following my lead. Thanks, douchebag.